Hey everyone and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Melissa and I just wanna thank you for stopping by today. So you guys have already seen my front porch tour. Um, I've showed you how I have decorated out there for fall. And now I wanted to take you around the inside of my home and show you the things that I have incorporated into our home for the fall season. So if you've been following me long or follow me on Instagram, uh, you know that we have not been living in our home for very long. Um, we've been here about two months and we've been unpacked for about two hours. Um, we're actually still not totally done. All the boxes are unpacked. These aren't quite where they need to be yet. So we're gonna get there um, and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me as, as I finish. But I wanted to just take a pause from that and show you what I have done inside of my house for fall. As you know, um, fall is one of my favorite seasons. I love decorating for it. Um, I love the colors that come along with it, but I do my colors just a tiny bit different than traditional fall colors. So a lot of people incorporate, you know, the red, the brown, um, the orange, the yellow, all of that. And I kind of mute it just a little bit. So I'm gonna kind of walk around through here and show you what I have done and hopefully you can gain some inspiration for yourself to bring into your home this fall season. When you walk into our home, to the left of the door, I've placed this basket right here that I got from Target, uh, I believe two years ago. And inside of it, I just have some pumpkins that I spray painted white uh, just to kind of, they were already white, but I just kind of went over them with white chalk paint just to kind of take off that sheen. And then I also went over the stem as well because I don't know about you guys, but some of the stems that come on the pumpkins, they just look so fake um, that I just needed to mute that as well. And then in here, I just have some branches that... Uh, we brought from Colorado. And then this right here is just a sprig from Hobby Lobby. And then obviously some cotton sticks because fall is not fall without cotton. So I just have those placed in there. And then right down to the left of it are just some um, black rain boots of my daughter's that she has outgrown. So I just put those there and I think it's just a nice um, subtle way to decorate a bare corner. And it's just nice and calming. The colors are peaceful. That's what I mean about, um, you know, kind of the way that I decorate for fall. I don't do a lot of the loud fall colors. Um, it's just more serene, I guess you could say. So then going into the dining room here. Up here we have our gather sign that we brought from our um, other home. And then right here I just have some eucalyptus that I got from Hobby Lobby. And then these little sticks right here are also from Hobby Lobby. And they're just really cool. They're, I don't have a clue what they are, but um, they look really cool. And they were $7.99 at uh, half off. And then right here, I just have my candlestick holder that I pretty much have up all year round. And my table runner is just kind of a nice farmhouse feel. It's kind of a khaki color with gray stripes that I got on Amazon. And then over here, I just have the same thing. And then over here, I have got some wood slabs that I purchased from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago, but they have them all the time. So you can go and pick up your own if you want to. And then I just have some white pumpkins in there that were also from Hobby Lobby and then I 
bought a glass dome and um, just set it on top of that. And then I've got my little white houses here. I leave these up um, the majority of the year. At Christmas, I stick twinkle lights in there. I may even still do that um, right now for fall, but I just have not yet. And then there is my gather sign. Um, I don't have anything to link for this. A friend of mine actually made that for me, so I love it. And then on the doors, I just have some black and white striped uh, burlap ribbon with a um, boxwood wreath. And the boxwood wreaths came from Target. And then there you have the look of the dining room. So as you walk in the front door, this room is actually to the left. And so you can see it um, right away as you walk in. And then as you walk over to the left, I have this space right here. As you can see, there is the front door. And then here is this space. And these are from Hobby Lobby. And this is from Hobby Lobby. I don't really have a lot on there. I don't, I just like simple decor. I don't wanna to have to store a lot of things and I don't want it to look cluttered and like it's just a lot of tchotchke that collects dust. So the more simple for me, the better. On this wall right here, we have some built-in cabinets and I really don't have a lot on here um, just because, again, I don't like it to look overly cluttered. Less is more, in my opinion. So down here on the bottom, I just have some cotton yeah. sticks uh, in that basket. The basket came from Hobby Lobby, cotton sticks came from Hobby Lobby, but that was two years ago. So my guess is they still have them there, so you can um, check that out. And then up here, I just have two little pumpkins um, just sitting right there. So just really, really simple. And then down the hall, uh, not, not really a whole lot. I have some leaves um, in that pot right there at the top left, and those are just kind of overflowing those are from Hobby Lobby and then just two pumpkins right there as well so just enough to kind of give a little pop of color but not just you know feel like you're drowning in a leaf pile we'll walk in here this is um, one of the bathrooms here on the first floor and on the inside see if I can get back here I have that pumpkin, the black and white one, which is from Target. The little green one is from Target also, which so were the other two little ones that I just showed you um, in the front uh, built-in cabinets. But those are Target from two or three years ago, and I did not see any of those this year. I was kind of unimpressed with Target's dollar spot this year as far as fall was concerned. I have an owl up there on the top, and he actually stays there all year round. Um, that thankful sign I got from Jane.com. I get a lot of printables from Jane.com. They are super, super cheap, and um, I love it. And then just a little white pumpkin, um, this one right here from Target. And then down here, I have that um, sweater pumpkin, which is from Target this year. And that is it for this area. And here on the sink, of course, I have my Mrs. Myers pumpkin hand soap. In my living room, I kept it really simple. I, um, just took these swags right here and it's actually uh, not a swag I'm sorry garland and I purchased that from Hobby Lobby 
and it's just, I don't know, just really pretty. I love it. It, it looks real um, and it just kind of hangs and because this fireplace is so large, I needed something that was going to um, just kind of settle down the girth of it, I guess you could say. And so I put that up there and then um, I have this saying right here, love is patient, love is kind. Then I have a piece of driftwood up there that we got camping one year. And then I just have two little white pumpkins that I got from Hobby Lobby um, in the like painting stuff. It's, it's with the fall things, but it's in the area where uh, like they have seasonal kids crafts along with all of the other decor. And so those are just like ceramic uh, pumpkins but I liked them because they were really natural looking. They weren't shiny. I went ahead and picked those up. So that is all that I have there on uh, the mantle. And then down here on the coffee table, I just kept this really simple as well. Uh, these two things are always on here as well as this. But this right here I got from Michael's. Uh, this is from Target. And this uh, pumpkin right here I got a few years ago at Target as well. But they do have just plain white ones again this year. And what I did to just raise it up was to get on just a cheapo Walmart uh, black candle holder. And so that just kind of helps with symmetry and balance and all of that. This candle holder right here I got from Hobby Lobby. And it actually comes with the holder part as well as the uh, candle. But there's space around it to put things in there if you want to. And so because I am frugal, I got uh, kidney beans and split peas. And I think they look fabulous. And it cost me like, I don't know, a dollar. So there is that. And then on my pillows, not on my pillows, but my pillows rather, uh, these are from Walmart. And they're just really, really snuggly. And then um, the plaid ones are from Target like five years ago. So, but. I think you can pretty much find plaid anywhere. On this little tray table right here, I just have a basket with a pumpkin from this year. I got that at Target this year. And then again, some more antlers from our backyard in Texas. And then up top here, I just have an old hymnal from my husband's uh, church that he grew up in and then just this little owl and that succulent is fake and it's from Hobby Lobby. On my couch table I just kept it really simple as well. I just put two glass pumpkins on the scale and then down here I just have these little um, houses that I got from this year's uh, Target dollar spot and I put some twinkle lights inside from Hobby Lobby. And they are uh, timed on a timer, so it's perfect because I just stuck them in there and then you can see the cord back there behind. And I just brought them right under here and stuck a Velcro strip and you can't even see that it's there. In my kitchen, again, just really simple. I have this tray right here with um, just some picks from, uh, these are from Michaels. And I love them because again, they are the fall colors, but it's not like just super loud in color. They're, they're kind of muted. Uh, and then these right here are the fake eucalyptus sprigs that Target had in the dollar section last year 
but you can find those at both Michael's and uh, Hobby Lobby. And so those are just all in there together. No, no rhyme or reason uh, to how they're put in there, but just really pretty. And then this white pot uh, vase, rather, is from Target this year. And then down here, I just have um, this hobnob milk glass and I found that pumpkin at Michael's and just sat it on top. This right here I also found from Michael's and it has uh, timered twinkle lights in it as well. And then I have the trap orange clove uh, candle on a plate that I got from the Goodwill a few years ago. And then this tray right here is from, I think that's from Michael's as well. And then, ha ha, the pumpkin hand soap. So there is that, just again, simple, elegant, not a lot of stuff um, because the last thing that you want is just a ton of clutter all over your uh, kitchen counter while you're trying to cook and, and whatever. We pretty much live in our kitchen. And so I just don't want a lot of stuff that I am having to you know wipe around and move and that's not fun. And then up here, I just have a uh, magnolia leaf wreath that I got from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. And then turning over here, um, on the table, I just have a pumpkin in this pot right here that I got from Target uh, about five or six years ago. We were still in Texas at that time. So what I have in here is just some boxwood greenery. Uh, it's actually a swag that I purchased from Target, um, kind of the, the garland swag that I was planning to use somewhere else and it just didn't work. And I needed something to lift up my pumpkin so that I could stick these sprigs in there. And so I just kind of coiled it around on the inside and then sat my pumpkin on top of it. The pumpkin is from Target this year. And then I found these amazing uh, picks from Hobby Lobby. And I am in love with them because they look real, um, they're muted in color, they have the berries, the, um, what do I wanna say, like vines, I guess you could call them, but you can just kinda turn them and maneuver them and they will stay where you want them to stay, but I just, I just love it. It's just so, so pretty. And I stuck them in like that uh, so that they would just kind of come out and surround the pumpkin. Um, that way it was kind of more a centerpiece than, you know, just something that was stuck there. And so that's what it looks like from all the way around. And then over here on this wall, I have my chalkboard that um, I made because I most certainly did not want to pay um, what I was seeing them go for. The cheapest that I could find was like $175 and I was like, absolutely not. And so what I did was I found this frame at Hobby Lobby and used my coupon for 50% off, 40% um, off, I'm sorry. and. Then I got stretched canvas. Uh, you can get, you know, like the, the canvas boards that you can just paint on, the stretched canvas, um, and used my coupon on that as well. Actually, no, I take that back. They were 50% off when I purchased. And I just sprayed the Dickens out of that with chalkboard paint. And I stuck it in the back of that, super glued it, and there you go. It cost me uh, let's see, when all was said and done, cost me about $50 to do that, opposed to $175. So I am extremely happy with it. 
but um, I went ahead and wrote that saying on there. That is from Anne of Green Gables, if anybody is wondering. That's what it says right down there on the bottom. And then um, if you watched my previous video, I showed how I made my beaded tassel. Super duper easy. And then those uh, sticks right there are actually from my backyard because we live in a forest. And so I will never uh, need for sticks. And then down here, I found this cool little thing from Michael's this year. And it's just really cute. You can, you know, move the date and the day and the month and all of that. And it's just, it's really cute. Um, my kids like to move it every day, so I don't usually have to. This uh, weight scale right here, I got a couple years ago at Target. It was the Joanna Gaines um, scale. And then this pumpkin, I got at Target this year and just sat that in there. It's actually ceramic. And then over here, I just have a cake plate on top of a book that is turned so you can see the pages. And then this uh, little pumpkin right here was in the dollar spot this year. I just have a dairy glass jar uh, right there. I don't, I want to say that came from Target dollar spot a couple years ago. This is my wax melter. And so when it turns on, let me show you. It sets out. There's little lights all over. I really like that. It's just very calming in the evening. Um, and that I got from Target as well. Uh, I wanna say like a year ago. And then I just have two little picks in the glass jar um, that again are the fall colors, but just, you know, not overly loud. And then I just had this little pick right here that came in something else um, that I had. I threw the rest of it away <clears throat> because it kind of got damaged a little bit in the move, but I salvaged that and stuck that in there. So I think that that makes it look really pretty. And so there is that area. And then last but not least is the other bathroom. And I just have um, these little shelves here. So this is just wood that my husband cut and then I stained. And then underneath here, the brackets are from Home Depot. And so he just hung those there for me. Uh, this jar right here is from Hobby Lobby. And then I just have a little cake plate right here with, again, two more of those glass pumpkins. I just have a pot with some fake acorns. And then I've got uh, some antlers up there from our yard in Texas. And then, again, some of those leaves that you saw in the other room. And then over here, I just have, again, pumpkin spice hand soap. And this right here is my white pumpkin candle. And what this is to just kind of add another element is this is just a plate. And this is another one of those super duper cheap, I think it was $2 uh, candlesticks at Walmart, our candle holder, I guess, not stick. And so I just sat the plate on top of that because it's the perfect size to go on there. And so it just kind of covers it up, doesn't totally show that it's, you know, a candle holder. Brings in another element, um, just another texture, and that sits right there um, by the sink. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that it brings you a little bit of inspiration to bring into your home this fall season.
If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would join our community here on YouTube by clicking on that subscribe button and then also on the bell. What the bell does is it just notifies you every time I put up a new video. That way you don't have to continue coming back and forth to see if anything new has been posted. If you are not following me on Instagram, I post over there pretty much daily. Uh, it's just another way for you to get to know me. On a more personal level, I post a lot of things that I'm doing throughout the day, different deals that I find, um, things about my family that are appropriate for me to post and that I feel comfortable posting, but it's just a way for you to kind of see a little bit more who I am outside of edited videos. So until next time, friends, I just encourage you to create a life that you absolutely love living and will never need a vacation from. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.